Yeah. How many of you would like to diversify your portfolio by adding a new asset class, which is commodities? Please type me in the chat box. I'm just parallel looking into my phone where I'm just seeing these chats. Yeah, Samir, hi. Uh, just please type me in the chat box in case you want to diversify your portfolio by adding a new asset class, which is commodities. Unkar Nath, yeah, thanks. Uh, how many of you would like to be a successful commodity trader? So if that is the case, then please type me in the chat box again. Yeah, thanks, Shiva. Thanks, Samir. Uh, welcome to today's interactive webinar on insights with a successful commodity trader. I'm saying interactive because you all can keep typing your questions and uh, I promise to take as many questions as possible uh, as we run through our webinar today. Uh, commodities markets have been growing at a very fast pace in the last couple of years. Uh, average daily turnover of commodities is almost 70,000 crore and we been growing after launch of commodity options. Because of the current global situation such as interest rate hikes, political instability in many countries, geopolitical tensions, commodities have been volatile and provide ample opportunities for traders. Uh, today I'm super excited to have with us Mr. Manu Rishi Gupta, founder MRG Capital. He is a SEBI registered portfolio management services provider. Uh, over the last few years, he has researched keenly about precious metals and calls himself precious metals buff. So that's something unique. Uh, he has been trading in commodities with ISEC for last almost 20, 23 years now, uh, but in commodities for the last couple of years. Uh, Mr. Manu Rishi Gupta, thanks for joining us. Thanks for accepting this invitation and being a part of this webinar today. Uh, Right. To start with, just Mr. Manu, just tell us about your journey, how you came into capital markets and why commodities. Thanks, Ramesh. Thank you all. Thank you all who are listening. Uh, I, I recently, just about four or five years ago, started researching and creating a conviction about commodities. I've been a stock market investor since I was 14. You know, I was... Uh, since the age of 14, I was investing in stocks. And I must start this session with a small story. It was January of 2008, and I was probably, uh, you know, 15 years younger. And at that point of time, I was, I had taken a sabbatical in my life. I had quit a very, very good job. So this is the story, which, which is the prologue to this entire session commodities and the importance of commodities. Opportunity cost of two years as to, if at all, the stock markets were to blow up, gold and precious metals would perform well. But I was terribly young. I had never traded. I had never accumulated gold or silver. And I just read that absorbed it and let it go. Lehman happened on 15th of September, September 2008. The portfolios crashed and the gold started zooming. But I was reading about precious metals since December of 2005 when this started moving up in the, in the last 20, 30 year journey. I missed the opportunity in 2008, October of 2008. And by April of 2011, Silver and gold had hit a lifetime high. And it started dropping ever since. Eventually, in September of 2021, I, after a wait of 13, 14 years, and after a conviction that I had built for the last 15 years, I eventually had started building a position in pressure. You should only invest and be an investor from a long term if you have a conviction. Conviction on an asset class, conviction on whatever. You buy a house, you buy ITC, you buy Hindustan Lever, you buy Reliance, not to trade on a monthly basis. 
you build a long term conviction on an asset class to create lifetime wealth so that's my story and now ever since i have been i have i have used the icici platform over the last 23 years i was one of the first ever customers in 2000 when you launched your icici most of your new employees call me to figure out where how to navigate the platform because i have seen all the versions and i can tell most of the viewers in this platform that you know icici is one platform which has no counterparty risk icici is one platform which is backed by a bank icici can never be a kavi and and to to the disadvantage of icici they don't even know what they're sitting on and perhaps that's why your share price is underperforming but if i was to invest and 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 i also own own, own a portfolio company and 12% of my client's net worth is an icici stock so that's just a little bit of a background since i've been involved in uh, with with icici for for such a long time so the first and the foremost thing in the commodities trading journey is to truly select your uh, tech and broking partner for me it is icici some people can can and can trade with zero dha or mcx or 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 whatever but please understand the technology please understand that if at all there is a systemic risk very few people you know covid has taught us that there can be a black swan we only knew all our lives the academic meaning of black swan but the true black swan in our life only happened with covid when covid happens or a covid type situation happens so if i use the word covid it doesn't mean covid please consider it as black swan when a black swan a true black swan event happens you need your technology partners your banks have to be robust enough that they don't create a systemic risk that if you have long or short on a contract or long on short on a position that they fail and in this country i can tell you with some degree of confidence that icici securities unlike a few other broking houses and of course i can name carvi because carvi is no longer in existence but i can also assure you that a carvi like situation is going to happen in not so distant future in in our lifetime with a few other broking houses but that's for another day maybe i'll write a blog i would not like to mention that on this platform so i trust icici I, i work with icici they have the lowest fees they have very very robust margin facilities and i'm not a trader i'm only an investor i trade because i need to roll over i trade because i need to roll over my positions and hedge and create a portfolio which where my where i buy insurance is and all so i have the i have the modus operandi of a trader but i must tell you that i'm really a precious metal investor or a commodity investor so coming to going forward on this discussion how how, how do i update myself on 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 what what is happening in the commodities market i i only have one recommendation for everyone read read and read you can't be trading in coffee or gold or silver unless you are well aware of what is happening in the global markets it is very easy to believe and say yaar yeah, sona utha lo coffee utha lo cardamom utha lo crude utha lo but unless and until you are well read and well opinionated about what's happening with russia ukraine what's happening to the dollar index what's happening to uh the balance sheet of the most powerful economy the most powerful and the largest economy on the planet which is the united states of america unless you are well read and through the spectrum of everything i do not think you should even venture out into commodity trading a lot of a lot of things are dependent on dollar index a lot of things are dependent on uh a geopolitical situations a lot of things are dependent on what's really really happening uh with the uh, with with the uh, with all the things that that are happening i mean i mean i i recently 
I recently read a uh, wrote a blog where where I said that you know de-dollarization is the order of the day. What happens if if the if all the alleged enemies of the United States of America start to gang up? What happens to the dollar? And if that happens to the dollar, what happens to the precious metals? So, so this is talking about precious metals, but if you if somebody's trading in coffee, if somebody's trading in whatever, you can't be trading unless you know the weather in Brazil, unless you know the weather in Vietnam, unless you know the weather in weather in Colombia or Indonesia. So, so pretty much that is what we need to figure out when we are trading in commodities. The next important thing is ability to interpret data. Data is very important, global data. So you need to read a lot. You know, good understanding of macro and global factors that impact the commodity prices. Good understanding of what is happening uh, between the between the between the politics of the nations. What is happening? I'll give you a small example. Very recently, uh, when the Russia war broke, even the foreign exchange reserves of Russia were frozen. The gold reserves of Russia, which were in other countries, were also sanctioned. Now tell me, if dollar is the reserve currency of the world, it means that dollar needs to be the most liquid thing on the planet. Irrespective of who's fighting with whom, dollar needs to be tradable. With America sanctioning the dollar reserves of Russia, I think they've sh shot themselves in the foot. Because now all the other reserve banks have figured out that God forbid if they have a conflict with somebody, God forbid if they have a localized conflict, which America doesn't agree to. Because if Russia is attacking Ukraine, Russia thinks that they are doing the right thing. I'm not passing a judgment with whether Russia is doing the right thing or the wrong thing, or Ukraine is right or wrong. But America is judging that Russia is doing the wrong thing. If America has the power to judge a right or wrong, while their currency is the reserve currency of the world, then they are shooting themselves in the foot. And that is the time, sometime in February, March of 2021, that I started building that if America ends up sanctioning the, the, the reserve currencies, very soon the, the uh, central banks of various countries are going to start to get worried about the dollar reserves. Very soon they are going to start accumulating gold because gold for the last 2000 years has been the reserve currency of the world. Gold has gold is tradable. You carry a one ounce gold coin anywhere in the world, it is still tradable. You carry a dollar, you carry a, a, a Saudi Arabian uh, currency. You, you, a very important statistic would be important to know why currencies and the fiat currencies have very little future. <laughs> there was a time not too long ago in historical past that one uh, Iraqi dinar was worth two US dollars. One Iraqi dinar was worth two US dollars. Today, one US dollar is worth 2000 Iraqi dinars. That is what can happen to fiat currencies. But in relation to gold, everything stays stable. And that's what I figured out. If America is going to shoot itself in its foot, then I think gold and silver are going to be the next go-to uh, currencies on the planet. Now, gold historically has been anti-inflation, uh, hedge against inflation. People, A lot of people and wealth managers say, keep 10% of gold as your uh, hedge. In such volatile times, I have created a 30% of my net worth in precious metals, primarily because gold and silver are precious metals. Silver has a nearly a 2.2 beta to gold. Silver and gold have had a, a, a ratio, historical ratio of about, uh, of about 76, oh no, sorry, about 65 which went down to 91 and it's beginning to inch up. So even though gold, everyone understands gold, I love silver a bit more, primarily because silver has got a price catch up to do and a ratio catch up to do with gold. So there we are. But, but coming back to how do, 
how do people and how do investors really understand where to enter how to exit what are the technical levels i think i think technical analysis is very important on in a very short term technical analysis allows you a little bit of a entry and a exit opportunity if at all you want to exit but as as warren buffett says that in the short run technical analysis is like a voting machine because a lot of people are voting on the short term prospect of a asset class but fundamental analysis is like a weighing machine because if you are bullish on an asset class and if you are ready to buy say silver at 25 dollars and if it eventually ends up falling to 20 then you should not bother too much about technicals then you should go all in and accumulate silver or gold at your comfort levels so that you can create a long term wealth because if something was good at 25 technicality of something can't make it not good at 20 and that's how i when i entered uh, and started building my my precious metal position in september 29th i still remember the date 29th of september 2021 eventually i had a lot of drawdown but i knew that my concept my fundamental research and my conviction was strong so i started accumulating even on the way down and that's how i could build the wealth and I, that's how i could build feasibly all right profits which which at least makes me happy in the short run now there are a lot of ways and 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 icici securities i i believe is a very effective platform now i do not hold any real physical gold or silver i am either invested very major in uh, very majorly in <clears throat> sovereign uh, sgbs sovereign gold bonds because they have a lot of advantage of market value that is also to icici and creating a 30 kilo silver position or paying 2 1/2 3 4 5 lakh rupees and rupees or creating a 1 kilo gold position now if you create a far out future contract position obviously you have to roll over there's a roll over cost there's a there's a there's a uh, the, the the futures come at a premium now what i do and i must sh- share with you because because this is a free flowing conversation what i do is that i decide my own levels i wait for you know if 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 most of the people who are attending this uh, webinar have been trading have been there is always an opportunity to enter there will always be a panic irrespective of how good an asset class something is whether it is a adani stock or it is gold or it is silver or it is reliance you would always see a panic in a thing now whenever there is blood on the street warren buffett says buy you only have to ensure that it is not your blood on the street which means your position sizing your availability of margins and not getting greedy about your positions and over leveraging yourself leverage is great rakesh junjunwala became 10000 rupees to 20000 7000 crores i mean whatever the stories are because of leverage nobody can actually convert 10000 rupees or 1 lakh rupees into 27000 crores in a matter of 30 years so unless you create a bit of leverage and you can manage that leverage because the moment you buy a future contract either a stock future or a or a commodity future you are leveraging you should know that if there is a mark to market loss i'm sure everyone who's attending this understand what what a mtm is if there is a mark to market loss you should be able to hold your position you should be able to double down on your position if your conviction is strong be bullish but don't be foolish and that is the lesson that i would like to leave for everyone so i hedge my positions and recover my hedging i recover my rollover cost by selling calls of the number of contracts that i hold and i am not in a hurry to sell calls because i always buy the farthest future because i am not in a, in this game for a month i am in this game for the next 10 years because i believe that if silver is 25 today and gold is 2000 today in 5 years gold will probably be more than 5 to 6 to 7000 and silver will be over 150 now that's my conviction whether it is 150 or 80 it doesn't matter right technically 
you try and double your money every five to seven years. So even if in five years, silver is 50, we are still all right. In five years, even if gold is three, uh, sorry, 4,000, we are still all right. But I believe that gold and silver are, are destined to, to give a far, far better, nicer, more handsome return than probably any other asset class in the next couple of years. So I will, I will also tell you that why you need to. So what's happening in the precious metals? Statistically, the there are a few exchanges all over the world. Comex is there. The London Metal Exchange is there. In the last two years, there's a phenomena that's happening in precious metals. People have actually started taking delivery. The contract size uh, or the digital uh, trading that's happening in precious metals is about 20 times more than the real delivery that is happening. Now, can you imagine? I'm sure a few of you people uh, would remember what happened to nickel. What happened to nickel in... Uh, when did this happen? Yes. Just, uh, yes. very Not too long ago. I think March, April or May of 2021. Yeah, last year. April or May of 2021, nickel shot from 18 or 1900 rupees to 6200 rupees in Indian metal exchange. And that happened because somebody had shot in nickel. Somebody had, there was a panic. Somebody said that, you know, the guy who shot in nickel doesn't have nickel to, to provide. And people started buying nickel in, in one day. Nickel went up by four times and the guy lost a couple of billion dollars. In fact, the London Metal Exchange canceled those contracts only to save that whale or a shark or whoever that guy was. And that guy, and of course, there are a lot of class action suits against London Metal Exchange. A few months, few years down the line, if they lose the case, even London Metal Exchange can go bankrupt because this nickel case is still going on. People who are on Reddit would remember what happened to GameStop, what happened to AMC. These are all bankrupt companies, not making any profit. But somebody gave out a panic cry, start buying. And when they started buying, there was not enough stock in the market. People who had shorted were taken to the cleaners. Something like that is happening in the precious metal space. People have started taking delivery of silver and gold. On the delivery front, you'll be surprised that they, every in the last two years, there is a 60-70% shortfall in the delivery contract. JP Morgan, if you, if you Google, and I'm sure some of you know what JP Morgan was involved in, JP Morgan was shorting silver for the longest period of time. They were manipulating the gold in the silver market. And they were nearly fined, I think, half a billion dollars for this manipulation. And they are still short on silver because, because silver and gold are, are, are more financial institutions are short, even while people have started taking delivery. And there's no more silver and gold to be delivered by, by commodity exchanges than as compared to the demand. Because people say we don't trust the exchanges. What if exchanges cancel our contract? So the number of contracts or the number of the, the quantum of position or the, or the delivery that has been taken in gold in last one year by retail investors is 310 tons. And in silver, it is 1,800 tons. That's a lot of delivery compared to the digital contracts that have been, uh, that have been uh, written. So, so I'm sure a few of you are you know, uh, first-time investors, and, and, and I must talk a little about risk as well. Whenever you enter an asset class, there is a risk. You buy a house, you don't check the value of the house because there is no stock exchange to tell you the value of the house. But a house, if you buy, can, can languish in its value for 10 years. Leave aside people who have bought houses in Gurgaon for 7 crores and a lot of news items that people are rushing to buy houses. But there are also instances where people have bought apartments in Gurgaon and for 10 years, they have not got an exit. In the 11th year also, they are not even getting the same money that they paid for the same apartment. So 
So you must all be aware of the risk. You must all be aware that that all of all of your commodity trading comes at comes at a price. You cannot over leverage yourself. You must you must uh, have enough margins with you. And 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 people who are just investing their monthly surplus into a asset class is is fine. And also for the on a slightly lighter note, I don't know how many ladies or how many men are attending this. When ladies or your wives or your girlfriends or your whatever, when they buy jewelry, that's not an investment. An investment is when you buy an asset in one shop, you come out, go to another shop, and that shop is ready to give you the same price minus the brokerage. And brokerage can be half a person, one person, whatever. But if you buy the best of the jewelry from Tanish and go to another shop and say, I want to encash it, you're down 30%, which means that if you are looking at precious metals as a as a, if you're looking at precious metals as a as an investment, not as trading, then you must buy if you're buying physical, either the gold biscuits, bullion, or whatever, or you should buy digital gold because digital gold is, is tradable online. It has real value. There are counterparties who are ready to buy and sell and trade minus the brokerage, and and they are governed by international prices. That is the only way to trade. So a lot of people tell me, no, 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 you know, my wife buys, spends 20% of our annual income buying jewelry. I think she's destroying the wealth. If your wife is spending your 20% of your, I have a few friends and, and, you know, their wives are, you know, obsessed about jewelry and diamonds and all. If you buy jewelry and diamond thinking that it's an investment, no, it's just the destruction of wealth. It is not because because the gold might not move by 30%. So you need, you will only make money if, if gold moves by 100, 200%. And then you take a 30% haircut in making charges and conversion charges or whatever. Buy a standard gold coin biscuit, 99.99% purity. Or if you can manage digital, digital contracts on a broking platform and you can manage your drawdowns, you can, you know when to double up, you know how to write calls to, to uh, manage the rollover cost. So I'll give you a small example. Let's say I buy a contract of silver. The monthly premium on a silver contract is about 600 bucks. And silver is always, always opens up two months out. So in May, it would open up for July. In July, it would open up for July, August, September. So the different price differentiation would be give or take 1200 bucks. I am not in a hurry to sell a call. But whenever there is a 3 or a 4% surge during the lifetime, when I say lifetime means it could be a month or two months because at max it can be two months. During the lifetime of the contract, I sell the most distant call where I'm getting 1200 bucks. So I'm very happy that I've maintained my position. I bought an insurance. Because I'm long-term bullish on our precious metals, I can simply roll over I can simply roll over my position because my 1200 bucks of rollover cost is in my pocket. And then I'm not bothered. I'm not trying to overplay, over trade or anything. I believe personally, there's no need to agree with me that silver is looking at maybe hundred dollars in five years. Gold is looking at six to $7,000 in five years. Whether that happens or not, it doesn't matter. Even if it, Gold gives me a 20-25% CAGR, which means even if it is if it doubles in five years, I'm all right. My belief or my conviction cannot be a driving force behind my stupidities. I need to be rational. If you can generate and if you can grow your wealth anywhere between 12 to 18 percent without any headache. Year on year on year, you are a great investor. Warren Buffett, who's the richest man on the planet, really, because he, he's cash. There, there are a lot of people who are richer than him, but Warren Buffett is the richest because he's, he's cash rich. If Warren Buffett is only grown at 20.5%, and if I'm growing at 17, 18%, I'm a very, very happy man. I'm a very happy investor, and I don't want to be called as a, as a trader at all. So 
a lot of people, uh, a few questions came to me and, and, and some of them was, and I've, I've shared with you how, how I manage risk. One of the ways I manage risk is also that if there is a very sharp upswing in a gold or a silver contract on a particular day, I book a profit in that contract and I buy and I sell a put, which is maybe 1000 uh, rupees, which is at a thousand strike price lower. I still get 15, 1700 on a silver contract. The reason I'm talking more about silver is because I'm, I'm very well versed with silver and gold because I trade that a lot. The reason I trade silver a lot, far more than gold, even though everyone loves gold is because silver has a lot of catch up to do. It has a two beta than gold. It has a purpose of a precious metal and an industrial metal. And silver is really, really in a short supply right now on this planet. Uh, but otherwise, gold and silver can be put in the same basket of precious metals. So if there is a sharp upswing, there was a uh, there was a day not too long back, I think a few weeks ago, silver was, was up 8%. I sold my silver contracts. I, at 2,000 rupees lower, I sold my puts so that I'm not out of the game. I sold puts as well. Be very careful with what you do because this is technical. And if you don't get it, don't... Don't, I mean, you can write to me. I'll be very happy to educate. I'm very happy to get into a Zoom call with anybody. But do not, do not do this just on, on the basis of this, this webinar. I sold a silver contract so that I'm not out of the game. I booked my profit in the futures and I kept waiting patiently. The silver prices fell. My The, the premium that I collected by selling my puts did not accumulate too much of theta because time was also progressing. And then the moment silver fell by another three for 5%, I squared up my put contracts and re-entered the silver. I made a marginal money, but I could manage my, I could manage my position. And when I bought the, those silver contracts, I bought the farthest silver contracts because I'm not in this game as a trader. I'm in this game as an investor. I want to be still holding my positions in 2029 or at least till 2025 till I know what's happening to the US, what's happening to the dollar, what's happening to the, to the, to the global policemen, the United States of America, and, 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 and how the new concept of de-dollarization plays out. You know, US had bullied all the countries, Russia, China, India, Saudi Arabia, Iran. And now all of these bullied countries have become an ally and they have become the bigger bully than the biggest bully themselves. So can you imagine the world order is changing and as the world order changes, dollar could be in some threat. I'm not saying dollar is in a immediate threat, but just statistically about 30 years ago, the dollar was about 80% of the global reserve currency was in dollars. Today, it's only 51%. So people are already shifting from dollar to other forms. Russia has been accumulating gold for the last 10 years while preparing for the Ukraine war. China never exports gold. China, nobody even knows how much gold China produces. China produces hell, a hell of a lot of gold. But they are accumulating their own gold and they're buying gold. China, I think, bought some 200, 300 tons of gold in the last one year. So, so this is what is happening to precious metals. And before 1971, before Americans withered away and spent the future of their children and grandchildren to enjoy their present movement by creating so much of a debt on their existing balance sheet, Gold was the standard till they realized that there is no not enough gold with us to back our currency with gold. 15, 17 trillion dollars to 32 trillion dollars in three years. That's how the American balance sheet has expanded. So if, if they have created so much of debt, if they and if they do not create a global conflict, dollar could be in, in, in some serious threat, in my opinion. So so yeah. So then somebody also asked me, what, what, have we, what have been your setbacks in the trading and investing journey? Well, losses are absolutely unavoidable. When I started investing in September of 2021, there was a drawdown. 
but i i did not go all in i knew that silver and gold because because russia ukraine conflict had already happened and we all knew about the the debt on the on the on the fed's balance sheet so i started building my conviction about precious metals because precious metals have been the the store of wealth i don't understand bitcoin i will never invest in bitcoin and and i'm not deriding them because because of any other reason i just i'm not comfortable what is not in my circle of competence i'm happy a lot of people say that bitcoin is the next next gold or bitcoin is a liquid gold well i don't believe in it but if 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 there's a solid logic bitcoin could be uh traded in relation to gold or whatever so in september 2021 when i when i first invested i lost a lot of money i did not lose i, I had a mark to market losses but i knew that silver and gold are going to get re-rated i started averaging down making sure that i don't get out of the game because of mark to market losses one lot two lot three lot always the farthest lot and and you know by the grace of god icici is a great platform 20 rupees a contract you can you can create a 20 lakh rupee position for just 2 and 1/2 lakh rupees i mean where if you can manage all of this where else on the planet would you get it and there's no counter party risk because it's backed by icici bank anyway so i started doubling down and and i i kept booking profits because month on month on month you book profits then another setback happened to me on the second and these dates are very vivid because because these things happen to you on a, on a, uh, and and these are and these dates are uh, you booked large losses i was flying from uh, bangalore to abu dhabi and when i took off from bangalore silver is at at this level when i landed in abu dhabi silver had crashed by i think like 10 or 12% and my i was i was seeing i mean i i was i was shocked but of course i have a i have a team of 10 12 people who manage all these positions and 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 we arranged and they themselves even though i was in the flight margins were not a problem and they figured figured everything out and there was no panic in the system the point is the the mcx closes at 1129 every night you can't be out of the game if you do not have margins so you have to be vigilant you cannot be in a situation that oops my margins ran out so the exchange squared up my positions that is stupidity if you have a conviction if you have a conviction then you make sure that you are sorted out your margins are in place somebody is watching your portfolio or there so or there are ample margins so that even if you are if you are flying or you are not in front of the screen or you, you don't have an access to your bank account your positions are not squared up because that is really really a, a downer If, if that happens, so so when I landed in Abu Dhabi, I just called up my team members and said, "No problem, sir. Everything is sorted. Manage our position." And it took nearly second of February till today. And and of course, last couple of days have been very good for gold and silver. They're right behind in my screen. Uh, that it took nearly February, March, April, nearly two months for all of those losses or mark to market losses to be covered. And during that time, of course, because of my conviction and you should never have a borrowed conviction if you are convinced that you are in the right asset class you should have your own conviction my conviction is that that i even during a very major drawdown period i could double up or i could double down on my on my precious metal position and that's what i did and 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 and, and that has held me in good stead and and over a period of time i think i think this is how how precious metals or commodities and all so i think uh, i might have covered a lot of thoughts that i have uh, yeah Rishi. yeah manu and uh, we also have a lot of questions from our customers uh, which yes, are there in chat go on go on uh, right, do yeah, i think, do, do uh, i need to you covered no, most of them so you want to ask me yeah uh, you covered most of them but let me just run through these questions uh, so in case something is missed out we can cover those two uh sure one question that i can see is uh, yeah it's something on the product side which my colleague jitendra has already given what is the margin for gold it's 10 11% is what is the margin for gold right uh, and wilford uh, asks we need practical guide to trade to so wilford uh, mr manu rishi gupta also answered uh, with a practical guide like what he does whenever there is 
uh, when the whenever the silver prices or gold prices go up and how he uses put uh, but he does make a marginal profit on that i think that was one of the strategies that he shared uh, and i don't want to miss out on that that one should have a conviction it's not that uh, manurishi gupta started trading commodity at day 1 studied a lot for years together and then started building on the positions yeah manu what do you yeah i like to stay i i missed the opportunity in january february or october of 2008 i eventually started building a position in september of 2011 life is about patience investment is a game of patience if you are patient as as warren buffet or i think peter lynch says wealth creation is transfer as transference of wealth from the impatient to the patient if you are trying to make money in one single contract in one single month you are making the biggest mistake of your life that is not how wealth is created then you are a punter you might have a better chance if you go to goa or to las vegas and casino because if you play a red and black simply on a on a roulette you have a 50% chance of winning 50% chance on every chance or every dice that is rolled is a very very good chance you are better off going to a casino if you do not have a conviction so you you have to have a conviction in what you are doing if you are a punter i mean recently a lot of twitter friends of mine told me you know zero da came out that only 3% or 4% traders made money 81 or 89% lost money and that is that is that is a reality everyone loses money transference of wealth from the impatient to the patient be patient of course you can't be patient if you if you if you have invested in a wrong stock or 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 a wrong asset class so so the thing is also every time you make an investment decision ask yourself a question am i making a stupid mistake will this mistake or will this investment decision hold me in good stead 10 years later but if you are say investing in brightcom i mean i'm talking of stocks some of you might also be interested in stock if you are making investment in brightcom because some great uh, investment manager came on the on the tv and was pushing brightcom or 8k miles or hfcl and dsq software and penta media i'm talking because i've been investing in stock markets for 30 years so i remember these names very vividly dsq penta media hfcl when hfcl fell from 1300 to 800 i know a few people who sold their houses they said hfcl you'll never find at 800 bucks today hfcl is languishing i don't know i don't know whether it's even listed or not and i don't care but but this is what happens if you make a stupid mistake all there is no need to take the right decision right decisions will come to you on your own just avoid stupid mistakes in your investment journey rajesh yeah uh, thanks for that and uh, i'm just going ahead and reading some more questions which are there in the chat uh, there's a question from mr arish can we trade in fno in commodity market is there any margin provided by icic direct so arish i'm not sure whether you're talking about shares as margin if that's the case i think from next week onwards you can allocate your shares right and uh, then you can use that margin shares as margin to trade in commodities too uh liquid uh, yeah there's one more question from sundeep kumar uh, manu there are some questions on the product side so i'm just taking that also along with yeah, this absolutely. yeah kuldeep kumar says liquidity issue in silver option remain uh kuldeep for the current month if at all uh, yeah deep otm itm there can be a challenge but current month i believe there's enough liquidity in silver which is around atm for four five strike prices on either side of uh, silver uh i think yeah you answer you talked about bitcoin yeah. so you know uh, just uh, uh, i re i remember one question which we got from audience at the time of registration that was in hindi manu ji i don't know you are trading mostly in precious metal but uh, definitely you must be aware about what's happening in other asset class also other commodities like crude sir dekhiye main aapko gas or base metal now yeah crude oil hai coffee hai kaafi kuch hai theek hai precious metals is a fundamental call crude oil depends on putin's mood crude oil depends on 
Iran's move. Now, hmm. how do we know what is going on in their life and their mind? ठीक है तो हम सिर्फ पंट कर रहे हैं और ये सोच रहे हैं कि पंट कर रहे हैं और हम हमारा जो पंट है इट माइट रिजल्ट इन टू अ प्रॉफिट डिड एनीबडी एवर इमेजिन दैट ओपेक विल से सऊदी अरेबिया ईरान रशिया विल ऑल सिट ऑन द सेम टेबल हु वर ओरिजिनली नेवर एंड चाइना एज वेल हु वर नेवर ओरिजिनली ग्रेट अलाइज क्या यार हमने ना प्रोडक्शन कम कर देनी है बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू स्क्वीज अमेरिका थ्रू अ हाई ऑयल प्राइस बिकॉज अमेरिका इज ऑलरेडी रीलिंग अंडर इन्फ्लेशन सो वी डोट नो वॉट डो नो हैपन सो क्रूड ऑयल इज वेरी वेरी लोकलाइज कमोडिटी मूड ड्रिवन कमोडिटी गोल्ड इज नॉट एन इन्वेस्टमेंट गोल्ड इज अ करेंसी टूडे इफ यू आर बाइंग गोल्ड यू आर नॉट मेकिंग एन इन्वेस्टमेंट यू आर कन्वर्टिंग यूर फीएड करेंसी इन टू एन अदर करेंसी विच हैज बीन इन एग्जिस्टेंस फॉर टू थाउजेंड थ्री थाउजेंड फोर थाउजेंड ईयर्स सो डोंट कंसिडर गोल्ड एज एन इन्वेस्टमेंट और अ पंट गोल्ड इज जस्ट एन कन्वर्जन ऑफ वन करेंसी टू अनदर करेंसी अंडरस्टूड जो जो मुझे क्वेश्चन आया था मनु इज ए पी एम बफ प्रशियस मेटल बिलीव इन जो मुझे क्वेश्चन आया था जस्ट आई वॉन्टेड टू पॉसर आई एम प्रेशियस मेटल बफ आई एम अ स्टॉक मार्केट बफ आई एम टू हंड्रेड परसेंट लेवरेज विद इन द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ स्टॉक मार्केट एंड ऑल I can be a short term beer because of geopolitical issues because of but if you are in the market you can't be a you can't be a beer you have to be a very very long term super bull but you also be have to be cognizant of short term realities i mean in okay. short term i believe that maybe uh, some people who deal in nifty bank nifty because that is a representation of our stock markets in short term i believe that we might be looking at 25 20% correction but that doesn't mean i'm short on the markets i might be short term short but i'm 200% long 200% long means if i have my net worth is 100 rupees i have stock of 200 rupees in my overall portfolio within precious metals and stock uh uh you know stocks of companies that's my position yeah great manu i think you covered most of the things that Uh, have come up as questions you talked about risk management you talked about position sizing you talked about even investor and trader right predominantly i keep talking as a trader because all these contracts are which end at expiry but you also yeah. told that how you roll it over how you manage the premium which is there which is a little higher than what is the current month's premium whenever you do and you also Sorry. mentioned about the silver contracts being two monthly contracts similarly uh-huh. gold is also in fact i would like to share another thing maine apne silver or gold contracts mein अप स्विंग वाले डे पे ऑन अ डे वेद वेन इट वॉज रियली रियली गोल्ड वॉज अप टू परसेंट सिल्वर इज अप सिक्स सेवन परसेंट आई सोल्ड द फार्देस्ट पॉसिबल कॉल टू बी एबल टू जस्ट कवर द रोल ओवर प्रीमियम टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द डे आई एम जस्ट लकी गॉड्स बीन काइंड दैट इवन दो कॉल्स वेंट इन टू द मनी दिस दिस इज नॉट गोन टू हैपन ऑल द टाइम इवन दो कॉल्स गॉट इन टू द मनी बिकॉज सिल्वर एंड गोल्ड इज हैड अ फिनल रन but that's fine towards the last one or two days of the expiration of contract when the theta in the calls is almost negligible i'll sell my futures i'll sell my calls and open the new contracts because yeah. i am not a trader i am an investor and i am an investor and i have to trade to be to remain invested let's put it that way Yeah. So, Vandu ji, any particular data point or uh, you are referring or, or you are you may suggest to our customers that they should look at this data for gold, this data for crude oil, on weekly basis or daily basis. Any particular data comes, sir? I do not think there is any data per mm-hmm. se. You have mm-hmm. to be cognizant of global events on the planet. Okay. You have to be cognizant of history of two thousand years. you have to be cognizant of what's happening to fiat currencies you have to be cognizant of how how you know the bretton woods was debunked by richard nixon in 1971 so you have to be generally aware you have to read 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 and read 
There is no shortcut to form a conviction. Thank you, thank you. मैं आपको बोलता रहूं कि गोल्ड खरीदो सिल्वर खरीदो और कल को गोल्ड पंद्रह परसेंट गिर जाए बोलोगे यार मनु ने बोला था गोल्ड खरीद लो और वो पंद्रह परसेंट गिर गया आप घबरा जाओगे मनु हो सकता है अपने लिवर और किडनी बेच के और गोल्ड खरीद लो या Uh, this for all our investors, like uh, Mr. Manu was talking about, what are he looks into. But uh, we do come out with research recommendations. जहाँ पे fundamental हर दिन भी come out with a daily report, weekly report, monthly report. I recommend all our investors to go on our non-logged in section. Again, I'm saying it's not in the logged in section. It's a non-logged in section. So any day you can hop there by eight fifteen, eight twenty. The reports are up. Uh, weekly reports are up by Monday. Please refer as Mr. Manu was saying. Read, read, read. So any reading about these commodities across all commodities when i say commodities not only gold silver will definitely help a trader to become a better trader that's one and we also keep posting this on our telegram group so i request each one of you who are is logged into this webinar to go on our telegram channel which is cnc i say say direct cnc telegram channel and we keep posting even this webinar or these kind of webinars whenever we do in future we keep posting about it on the uh, telegram channel and you guys can get connected So, so I just want to tell you, from childhood, na, my wish was to be a teacher. Hmm. And I became a portfolio manager. Ban gaya. So, me, if anyone comes to me, I live in a complex. Every day, two or three people come to me. Okay, sir, let me explain. I think it's very good. It's very good to teach people. It's very good to explain to people. Teach people. So, if any one of you wants to really connect, I would say, don't connect me as a as a novice. Read a few books. Have good questions and write to me. my my uh, some of my colleagues will fix an appointment and we can get on to a zoom call any time you can visit my website also which is mrgcapital.in or you can i have a i have a blog that i write uh, linked in whatever there's so many i mean you can just type my name and and probably uh, figure out uh, all the social media handles and wherever i'm present i'm very happy to respond i always respond and i'm very happy to uh, to to try and teach and become a teacher that i could not be great so i i was just making few points when you were speaking right to sum up those one is uh, you didn't start overnight right it's a patience which was there and you picked up those opportunities that's one read 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 is what you have been recommending and i believe that's one of the important things and you also said that 30% of your portfolio is into gold and silver so i don't know but i believe every investor should have some or other portion as per his risk appetite some diversified portfolio into gold and silver or any of these commodities so obviously portfolio diversification is what is important and you also talked about physical gold right uh, at icici when you come hedge here the margin requirement is 10 and 11% but all these are compulsory delivery contracts at mcx so uh, at icici we know that you are all retail investors you come here to hedge trade right and you keep rolling over so that's how we are not into delivery business and all the positions are squared off uh, on the day of the day before they get into devolvement or they get into staggered delivery period right rollover cost yeah it's there and manu ji explained rollover cost kaise wo manage karte hain and uh, yeah investment into jewelry is not an investment that was a good one and it's a fact 25-30 परसेंट तो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग और वेस्टेज में चला जाता है या इट्स गुड अगर आपको कुछ चाहिए यूज करने के लिए दैट यू कैन यूज बट नॉट यू कैन नॉट कॉल इट एज ए इन्वेस्टमेंट राइट सो दैट वाज अदर पार्ट यू कवर्ड मोस्ट ऑफ देम एंड दिस फॉर व्यूअर्स इवन ऑन योर यूट्यूब वी हैव मेनी वेबिनार्स which is basic of commodity derivatives i can see there were a lot of questions on basics my request is just go there like you can put a now everybody whenever they are on youtube they put 1.5x speed and then run through that so you can just look at those webinars which are 20 25 minutes and you can complete in 10 15 minutes and get the basic understanding uh i know we have been talking here for 57 minutes now uh, let me just zip through if there are any more questions uh Yeah, Dilip Agarwal ji is saying, can I also use bond as shares as margin? नहीं Dilip Agarwal ji, फिलहाल जो आएगा वो stocks आएगा. Stocks आप pledge करके उसको shares of margin use कर सकते हैं. फिलहाल bonds will not be there as a part of your uh, uh, shares as margin, which you can allocate and trade in commodities. Uh, yeah, Murarka did mention saying that uh, we have a YouTube where one can go and look at basics of commodities. and i think we have covered most of the things yeah wilford has got a question rm is missing for any queries uh 
Jiten, you want to take this uh, answer with our call center timings, number of people that we have put there, that will be great. So I have one last message for everyone who's, who's part of this. You know, we're always impatient, impatient in entering the asset class and impatient in exiting an asset class. We have read the story in the कि शिकारी मचान पे गया और वो शेर की वेट करता रहा या बकरी की वेट करता रहा या अपने शिकार की वेट करता रहा यू नो इन्वेस्टमेंट जर्नी इज लाइक अ शिकार यू प्रिपेयर योरसेल्फ यू पैक योर फूड यू पैक योर गन एंड एंड यू गेट ऑन टू अ मचान नाउ वेदर द द प्रे कम्स इन वन डे और टू डे यू डू नॉट नो but you have to have your gun ready you can't start cleaning your gun and loading your gun when you see your prey so you have to have money ready with you a, a medium ready with you but don't be impatient you will get your opportunity you will get your chance to go for the kill right and these opportunities in our trading journey keep uh, investing journey keep happening month after month year after year never be forward more money is lost because of fear of missing out than decisions which are based on fundamental research so keep your gun ready keep your bullets ready do not don't start unlocking the gun and creating a sound when you see your prey be patient you'll get your chance and then you go for the kill and that goes for house hunting that goes for stock hunting that goes for commodity hunting or any other asset class hunting yeah i think uh, that's the message for all our investors right and i know it's one hour that we have started this webinar uh, thank you manu ji for joining us thank you for agreeing to be a part of this webinar thanks to all my colleagues and all our participants who have been patient and who have been listening to this webinar i hope this will help them to become a better trader and uh, we keep doing this webinars on a regular basis right uh, uh, every month basis uh, any new product which comes up we keep, keep uh, doing a webinar please follow our telegram channel right and uh, you keep getting all those updates there thank you so very much thanks everybody thanks for joining thank you thanks so much thank you jitendra thank you very much it was thank you a pleasure thank you manu ji thank you bye bye thank bye thank thanks very much Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to never miss an update from ICICI Direct.